screened in porch. Now it's a wood frame porch and now we have to attach the screens the old fashioned way. We're actually going to attach it on wood fillers. So we're going to use regular fiberglass screen. We got a roll of black here and we've got a five foot roll. So that's going to cover the width of all of our openings and then we're just going to roll it out to yeah, the length. So one piece will do every opening. Exactly. Now it's pretty cool the way Jeff framed this here. What we have is we have a two by four, we have an inch and three quarter filler and another two by four. On this side here that there is, you can see a two by four sticking out, which creates a dado right there for this piece to slide into. Let me show you on a mock-up that we have right here. So here are the two by fours, the three two by fours, one, two, three, an inch and three quarter filler that creates that dado right there. The piece that we're gonna attach the screening to will be stapled on the back and then we slide this rabbited cut that we made into that dado and screw the screens into this stop right here. And that will hold the screens into the opening. All right, Jeff, we ready to get started? Yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece right here out and we're gonna attach the screen to the back of this. Now we'll have one piece of screen wire and we'll take it and slide it into the opening with the screen wire on it and screw this off. After that's screwed in place, we'll take it across the opening and stretch it tight. Okay, so we're gonna lay the screen on this piece of plywood as our table. And we're gonna run it out. Now I've taken the stop that we have on the side that going in the corner, and we're gonna take it and lay it out on the, under the screen, just like that. Now we wanna extend the screen wire out about three or four inches taller at the top and about three or four inches longer at the bottom and then cut the screen off square. So that's pretty even with the plywood right there, Jeff. Now we'll just cut that off, trying to make it an eyeball square. In other words, you want to try to cut it as straight as you can. Okay. Okay, so now just pull that screen down to you a little, Jeff. Okay, now we take our stop and we'll slide it underneath and let it stick out about a half an inch beyond the edge here and staple it all the way down. All right, so now that the screen is stapled to this piece right here, when we go to put it into that dado, we will take and fold this over and that will make it go into that dado nice and tight. So we'll do that as we put it in place. So let's stand it up. So now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna lay it in. I'm gonna put it against the stop, and slide it over. You can see how the screen and wire bent out. I push it in and it folds right over and that's locked in place. Now I'll just put some screws in it. So now we're just gonna pull the screening wire across the opening and eyeballing it so that the little squares look like they're level. Yeah. And push the stop against, just like that, yeah. Now as we push it in, I'm holding this with my hand but I'm also letting it go, still keeping tension on it so that this part of the screen gets tight. Okay, so now it's ready to go in. I'm gonna push this into the dado. Now that that's in, I'll put one screw right here. Okay, now I'm gonna work my way down. Jeff's gonna start at the top, and we're gonna just pull it across, adding a little more tension, and forcing my stop into the rabbit, and put another screw in there. So we're gonna put the top in, same way we did the sides in that rabbit tucks the screen in and creates that tension in the screen. Now we're ready to put this bottom piece on. We want to be able to take these wrinkles out by stretching the screen down. So we're going to do it the same way. We're going to take our rabbited piece, lay it in, push it in at an angle, drive it in like that, and tap it in with our hammer. You got to tap it. Now the nice thing about screwing these pieces on, Jeff, if the screen ever gets damaged, remove the screws, put a new piece, put a new piece in. in. Yep. Okay, now we just cut off this excess using our utility knife.